Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Purple Elephant Gaming here, and today we are playing some more Bloom's Adventure Time Tower Defense. So, we have Flame Princess, and in case you can't tell, she's level 7. So, that's right, it's time for another Ultra Boosting and Solo. So one a little bit of unfortunate thing is, I'm not, not for her with support. I think for support, I'm just gonna like use something else to pop the purple balloons. But for a solo, I actually have to get rid of one of these. It's a pretty hard decision to be honest. So if we wanna go over everything, we have Engineer's Blueprint, five damage to more class balloons. Fire Cram, which doesn't actually give her any buffs, but unlocks her Royal Fury upgrade, which increases attack speed. So that one, I think is worth it. It's a little hard to tell, but I just wanna have it just in case. Um, Demon Heart gives plus two damage. Baker Shard, 50% attack speed. Heart Gauntlet's dam 1 damage, 15% attack speed. Plasma Goggles, activated ability, plus 3 damage, 20% attack speed. And Powering of damage, plus 1 damage. So, currently, she actually does 9 damage with all of these buffs. So, she's going to be one-shotting everything below Ceramics. And Ceramics, she won't be two-shotting, but with buffs, she will be. So, I think I'm actually going to get, or if we use this ability... So the question is, what do I get rid of in exchange for Super Monkey Goggles? Because we do need these because... Actually, this pop lead ghost and frozen... Do the Robo Monkey... Do the Robo Monkey Visors not let you pop purple balloons? Because if they don't... If they don't... I think they let you pop purple balloons. What are we going to do then? Um... Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. I think this should work. Oh. Hopefully. Um, question is, what do we actually want to get rid of? It's a little bit of a tough decision, to be honest. Because you could say this, the 5 damage, or you could say the ability, because it's not permanent, but... Yeah, I guess the ability. Um, to be honest, no. Honestly, I think if we lose, it's going to be the ceramics, not mobs. I'm going to get rid of the engineer's blueprint. A little bit of a hard decision. Likely, we won't have to do this for the... Final round, but I think I'm actually gonna have to go with. Do we not have one? These don't do damage, do they? Those black balloons that come near. Yeah, no, that won't do it. Um, in case you're wondering what I'm going for, it is these flames. So they're it's a little random, I guess, but they're gonna make a big difference because they should be able to pop up balloons. I think they have infinite pierce. I'm. We can't actually equip them too well. Great. Um. Um. Oh, wait, no, we can't do that here. I'm being dumb. Um, so in normal BC6 and previous games like that, Lave Lord already always had infinite pierce. Hoping. I'm hoping that these do, because if they don't, then we're in trouble. But if they do, then those should do with all the purple balloons. Hopefully, Camo, since you can't get Camo, I think that transfers over to them. Or they have camo on their own. I think they actually have camo on their own. Regardless, hopefully it works. If we have an issue with purple balloons, then I'll have to think of something. We might just have to add a tower and just ignore it for the solo, but hopefully not. Regardless, though, she is still going to be incredibly, incredibly powerful. And we actually do have one of her abilities. Three legs, that's odd. I thought it used to be two. Maybe they were buffed. That's cool. Um, the ability from the wand, which one-shots the strongest balloon on screen... Up to his EMG, so that's a really big deal. Like, a really, really big deal. So, that could be pretty useful. Um, I did go for the Plasma Goggles ability because, truthfully, I feel like it's gonna... It's 3 damage, so it's 2 less damage, technically. But it goes against everything. And it's 20% attack speed, which overall makes it better against everything. But it's not up 100% of the time. But I just feel like the Moab damage... It's obviously, it's really helpful, but... I feel like the Plasma Goggles has saved you a number of times. Because the harder rounds usually aren't back to back. So you usually can get away with and like survive with just using an ability for like ZMGs or Fortified DETs or something like that. Or the Babylon, for example. So I feel like we're probably safe to rely on it. Or to use it instead of the um, Engineer's Blueprint. But hopefully that won't be an issue. So here's the thing. Here's the thing I'm curious about. Fireballs, they split into three fireballs. If those can attack the same balloons, which I think they can, then she's technically a full projectile tower. 
which is a big deal because that's the same as max which could be a really big deal because her damage is insane her attack speed's pretty good she could actually beat my 100 i don't think solo or actually no no way solo no way she's beating it solo because well not even sai or super monkey have been able to beat it solo yet though to be fair i'm pretty sure i messed up their ultra boost so i feel like if I was to redo them, they might be able to, but regardless, I don't think that's going to be a priority now. I'll probably try again when I get Super Monkey to level 8, since he's definitely on his way for that. Or is it- oh, it's only two more, right? Two more? Three more? So then, does the original Fireball split into three, or does it stay into two more heal? That's the questions you don't really know the answer to. Um, so either three or four projectiles, I think it's four in total. So that's a really big deal, plus there's- Plus, right there, so flamethrower attack. Yeah, this is she's a lot of buffs. The flame, like kitten. Yeah, she's a lot of different attacks, which is gonna be a big deal because that's one of the things that was really good about Sai, I think, too, was that he just had so many attacks. Plus, even the fire trap. So yeah, like fire trap, kind of like his Tetsubishi force, I think, but maybe not. So it's definitely gonna be interesting to see how well she works. All right, so yeah, the leaves do work for purple balloons. Not well, but they do work. I actually think the kin can attack purple balloons. Or can the flame soar? You'd think none of them could since they're all fire based attacks, but it's hard to tell. Regardless, we are beating purples for now. If we ever do lose to purple specifically, then I might just like cheek in, like put in a side for like one round or something like that to deal with them. But for the time being, it looks like we're good for them. Hopefully, there's not any issues. I'm a little nervous about that. Cause that would really only be our big flaw or weakness right now. But so one thing that I have to keep in mind, I feel a little unfair because here's the big thing. Flame Princess is level 7, which is what I'm doing most of these because the level 7 ability is super big deal. Most of them, the level 10s are helpful but not huge. The only, however, there are two that the level 7 ability really makes a big, or level 10 ability really makes a big difference. Max, because it gives him plus one dart, which is a big deal, but it's not even all that big. It's like, what, um, 25% more damage. It's a pretty big deal, but it's not like humongous, humongous. At least, not in comparison to Flame Princess, who gets an additional fireball that originally thrown, which doubles her damage. So, okay, I say double, that's not true because of all the other attacks, but it's a big increase in damage. So, she's actually probably a lot stronger than this in the long run. Is something that you do have to keep in mind. Oh, wait, we're also gonna have elemental transform. That's the main reason I actually wait until level 7. I mean, the trick slot makes a big difference, but the ability is the main reason I waited. Because currently I'm saving my, as you, if you probably noticed, like 22 cosmic essence. I'm saving that up for um, C4 Charlie, because I really want to use him. In part, because I really wanted his ability. I'm really hoping it's gonna be super OP against um, the bad balloon. That's the main reason I want him. Um, but also, I feel like it would be fun, because I feel like Captain Cassie really sucks, and it would be fun to actually have a strong bomb towel. Or, like, bomb hero, I guess, whatever you want to call them. Actually, like, this one's part of the reasons I was excited for Flame Princess, is that she actually is a wizard. This is a wand. Because so far, pretty much everyone we've used so far has been... Um, what was I going to say? Has been a dart towel, because the darts are really OP. That's not true, we actually use Finn with his melee weapon and Mouse with the music. We actually, for Jake, we got a new really good instrument, which is the plus one damage support. Also a way better weapon for them. So if you've never seen this ability, this is pretty cool. Turns into a giant fire monster. Shh. Um... I'm saying, like, if you've never seen this, I don't think I've seen this properly. I thought she just got a melee attack. She shoots way faster. And although, if you look at this, this may not be important to Sora if you look at the ability cooldown right now. It lasts more than half, which means that when we're buffing it, it'll have permanent fire form. That's a huge deal, because I didn't know she could do that, and that's going to be so overpowered, like, ridiculously overpowered. So once again, I don't think she can solo on her own. Though I'm definitely feeling much more confident in that possibility. But with buffs, I'm honestly going to be pretty disappointed if we lose. 
like really disappointed because one of the things I've actually been messing up on again, I actually still have to add to the party, hopefully I won't forget, is Ice King. He has my Gugu Amido, which is plus two damage. That's a really big deal, but I've been forgetting for some of the past buffs, so yeah. Eventually we might have to do some redos, but I have been forgetting them, which is really bad. Um, like Psy on the last thing we did, but so many mess ups, I might redo that ultra buff, even just as like a two minute video, because I made so many mess ups. One of, not the least of which being forgetting Ice King, um, which I think I've actually done for a lot of buffs lately, so that really sucks. I'm assuming she can pop Ice Balloons, by the way, because the fireballs and stuff. Um, if they can't, then that's weird. Um, plus, I actually do have the new buff with Jake, the plus one damage. Originally, he was giving like three Pierce. One damage is a way bigger deal than three Pierce. That's a big deal. It's like. I'm messing up support, so you might notice, you might think Flame Princess, oh wait, she will be really OP, I think she is really OP, but if you think she seems too good to be true, keep in mind, I think I've messed up my last buffs, and my actual support skills have been getting better as well, because I've been getting a lot of epic rituals and stuff, so I have been getting better support stuff along the way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're definitely making it to the bad balloon. Um... I don't know. Could we beat the Babylon? I was sort of like doing like all jokey and stuff before, but we might actually be able to do it. That's that's pretty crazy, I must admit. And now we have this ability just to show off one shot CMGs. So, you know, if we actually do pop a Babylon, that's gonna be pretty helpful. But I mean, there'll still be one more, so considering we have pretty high gears, it probably won't make that big of a difference. Purples, are you going to kill me? Yeah, so, okay, um, I'm gonna continue, because this is unfair. Dying to purples, we have an item that should be able to pop them all. I'm considering it glitches, so you know what I'm actually gonna go for? I will sell this at the end of the round, I promise. Deal with the purples, my friend, and then I'm gonna sell you. Because technically, the lave should be able to deal with them. I believe it's glitching or bad luck or something. And I don't want to waste all my monkey money, that's the truth. So, I'm going to use Psy for now. I'm going to sell them as soon as the purples are done. Because I really hate the purples, and I... You can call this cheating if you want. Technically it is, but... Honestly, the fact that he dies because of this... And I could... I would have happily... We didn't even increase your trinket, so technically... If there's a different... We, like, we got the late. So if there's a different trinket that would have worked for this... Let me know that gives purple pop power. I was planning on using the Robo Monkey Visor, but it doesn't actually look like that included. Maybe it is. I wish they just changed it to be like, pops all balloon types. All purple balloons. Do I need Psy again? Yeah, I need Psy again. Yeah, I'm just... Yeah. Ignore it, please. If you really call this cheating, fine, it is, but... I just, like, I don't... I feel like it's cheating out on Flame Princess to make a lose because there's no item that gives Popo Pop out. Like, if I had Tuxedo Jake, this wouldn't be a problem. But I don't. Because I haven't spent the money. And I just have no... I have no desire to do a ton of motion games. I'm not even that far away. I think I'm more than a third of the way. But I've... Like, I probably could have gotten it by now, but it's just it takes a long time. And I have no desire. But... So including that too, considering that there would be that ability, which would make- Again, this is the solo, I guess, so maybe not, but regardless, she should be able to do it, so I'm just gonna use side cheat a bit. With ability, how much damage on the CMG? Not nearly as good as I thought. Mm, that's a little more scary. Let's use plasma as well. Again, we do have a one-shot if need be, but I'm hoping we don't need to use it, because if we do, that's a really bad sign. Yeah, that's a really bad sign. Definitely using it on the next one. But can we do it even with this? No. Wow, that's a lot disappointing, honestly, to lose that early. I was expecting her to w go way further. Huh. I guess maybe we did need that, you know, little boost. But a couple things. So, because I don't want to mess this up, you are being removed, and you, we have... As soon as I see you, Ice King. 
you're being added. Also, hopefully, you'll be able to deal with the, um, the, what are they? Purple balloons, right. You should be able to deal with that as well. I'm gonna add back in, um, the blueprints, which should make a really big difference in terms of damage as well. I think we have all of our other support. Time to go in for the support run. If she loses, I'm gonna be really disappointed in her. So I'm gonna be really disappointed if she loses this. Hopefully she won't. But if she does, that'll be really sucky. So we're not gonna use water nymphs because this isn't a good map for it. Technically, that would be another buff, but we're not gonna use them this time around. First one I'm after going for a little bit for the sake of simplicity is Ice King. We're actually also gonna go for Crown of In. No. Crown of Influence and Wizard Eyes, just because, truthfully, Purple Balloons. It's, yeah. It'll do a little extra damage, but basically nothing, and I don't want to have to think about Purple Balloons. That, that's the real reason. Um, but yeah. So, she really should be doing, like, easily twice as good with all these buffs. Ignoring the fact that I'm pretty sure attack speed's gonna be doubled, her damage is gonna be increased. All of these buffs are gonna be a big deal. So, I'm gonna be really disappointed if she doesn't beat round 75. I know I said that already, but it's just the truth. Can you really not fit here? Well, that's disappointing. Why are you so big, Ice King? Wait, did I see a spot? Eh, good enough. Yeah, so everything in range takes two extra layers of damage, I believe, is the ability. And we're also going to get camera protection because I want it. Because he's also going to be our purple pop power, and I just... For simplicity's sake, mostly, I just want to have it. Um, I guess we should also go for Cobra. That's going to be pretty helpful, getting the increased income. Probably should have gone for it already. I'm actually going to go for Monkey Farmer first. It makes no sense in terms of actual abilities and stuff, but I really just don't want to have to go through the castle picking up one or two crates. That's a little bit lazy, but it's the truth. Um, today's Tuesday, that's pretty exciting. Two days from Hanukkah, if you celebrate Hanukkah. Um, so I'm sure that's exciting for some of you. And, you know, if you don't, if you celebrate Christmas, we're 17 days away. If you celebrate anything else, um, I'm sorry, I have no idea when the other holidays are. I know Kwanzaa's happening, I, I think there are some other holidays going on. I don't know what they are, so, sorry. Um... But yeah, there's not really much else to say beyond that. Hope you did have a good day today. I had a pretty decent day, didn't do a ton, but a pretty nice day nonetheless. Very much so excited for the winter break, that's going to be just nice to get a rest. And my hope is that I'll be able to upload daily for the winter break, maybe, hopefully. I say that now, but it's very possible, if not likely, that at the very least on like Christmas itself and New Year's and maybe even Christmas Eve, we'll see. But those three days, the holidays, less likely to upload. Might, but less likely. Um, we'll see what my schedule ends up being. I don't really have an exact plan, but I do intend on taking it a bit easy. So still definitely will be videos. But hopefully more, but might be the same. I doubt it'll be less, because if it was less, that would be a little sad. But who knows? We'll have to wait and see. One thing I am very excited for, it's been a little slow lately. Our subscriber growth, we've been stuck at 83 for a couple days now. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I really would hope it's a little, like, I guess Christmas, Hanukkah, New Year's gift. More so New Year's, I guess, since I want to buy New Year's. To reach, by the end of December, 100 subscribers. I think you guys can do it with 17 subscribers off. It's going to be a little difficult, it'll be some big growth, but I think you guys can totally do it. And that would be a really awesome holiday gift, personally. Um, because 100 subscribers, that's, that's a, like, I mean, we've had other milestones, I guess, 50, 80, stuff like that. But really, 100 subscribers is the first sort of big milestone, so I'm going to be super excited for that to happen. Plus, that'll be one-tenth of the way to 1,000, which means, you know, I'll, I'll actually start making money. That would be nice. No more waiting and not being able to get Tuxedo Jake, that would fix that problem. Um... You know, that would definitely be nice. I think my goal, personally, would be probably for... Because I started this channel, I think, in April? April, I think. So, not for this April. I mean, if we could do it for this April, that would be incredible. But more so for probably next April, at the very latest. I'd want 1,000 subscribers, I think. For my second year. By year two, I think 1,000 subscribers is totally doable. 
This is long term, of course. I'm sort of just talking this to myself, I guess. Talking to myself. Talking this to myself, man. Oh, man. My English. It shouldn't be bad. But, man, my grandma's not always. It's not always up to the level you expect. But, what are you gonna do? But, yeah, I think that would be super great. I'm just subscribers for the end of December. It would be pretty awesome. So. While I'm saying this, I'm sure I'll say it at the end for routine simply, but if you aren't subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. Um, it's nice, and you know, it would help towards my goal. Because generally, part of the big things for actually these videos are these are generally my more popular videos, the Bloons Adventure Time in general, but also these videos, the Ultra Boosting, are pretty exciting because it's fun. I gotta admit, I really like watching Ultra Boosting for like all sorts of games, like just seeing someone so overpowered. It's pretty awesome, and it's, okay, no, pretty awesome does not cover it. It's ridiculously awesome, and I think it's pretty great in general. So, you know, maybe consider doing that. Oh, what am I talking about? Yeah, I think it's super cool to watch. And to be honest, I'm pretty well prepared. I still feel a little bad that I couldn't do perfect boosts, but I mean, we're getting closer and closer every time we do it. That's the truth of the matter. Still not perfect, but we definitely are getting closer and closer to, well, getting the perfect boosts. Oh, right, we have... This is permanent now, right? Yes, permanent boost. That's a big one. Oh, that's a pretty big one at the very least. Oh, man, it's going to be annoying because the ability is so short, but the ability comes back in time, so I'm just spamming the ability. Um... I think you're still in range. Want that plus unwaven loyalty. Um then is it just melancholy already? Wow, that feels way too fast for it to be just melancholy. But it definitely might already be just melancholy. Are we missing anything else? Um I don't think so. Yeah, no. So I'm gonna save for like a round or two. I guess I can walk through it already. Walk towards once again, I don't actually think this does anything, but in case it does, I do it anyways. I like to get all of my melancholies maxed up, because it didn't cost that much. I have nothing else to spend my money on at this point. And, well, there's it's just night. Like, if it, for whatever reason, does happen to work, then it would be really dumb if I didn't do it. So, and there's no real reason not to. So, that's basically it. Um, yeah. So now we sort of just have to wait. We have all of our buffs that I can think of. Hopefully I'm not forgetting something big. I don't think I am. But truthfully, memory and just planning. There's quite a bit of steps. There are a lot of different buffs to get. And unfortunately, unlike BT6, there isn't actually... And so many updates from BT6 are just updates I wish this game would get. I don't know. Maybe there'll be a number two, Boons of Adventure Time Tower Defense 2. That would be pretty awesome in my opinion. Um... But yeah, updates like, personally I think having two, three, maybe even more sets of like, so you could switch to have like pre-built like decks almost of heroes and allies and all that stuff would be so helpful. I feel like that would be so nice and really not that hard to get. Like that would, that would be so helpful really. Um, I also wish you could see buffs. That might be hard on this game since there are so, so many, but I really wish you could because that would simply be really helpful. Um, those are the big ones, really. I mean, all sorts of other things would be cool, like more heroes, maps, all those things. Skins, I don't know. They could do more, like, skins are much more plaus plausible in this game because there's such fewer, like, heroes and the upgrades don't really change the looks as much. Are we really dying to camo purples? Really? Like, honestly, camo purples. You gotta be kidding me. This gonna do it? This is enough for you, Ice King? Now, are you able to pop him? Are you able to pop them all now? Sucks giving additional damage to him. I don't want to give him additional damage. But, if I need to, in order to pop purple balloons, then I'm gonna do it. Oh, I believe that is the last purple round, though. At least that's the last one we made to last game. Though we did die next round, I think. 
Um, I don't think we're gonna die next round this time around, but we might. I mean, technically we're doing two more damage to everything, five more damage to Moabs, attacking a minimum 50% faster, probably, I think like a minimum 75% faster. Oh, this, I don't know if that's a glitch or not, but he had like the bottom flame part for way longer. Um, what else was I gonna say? Then increased attack range. It's actually no three more damage to everything, plus five more damage to Moabs. So eight more damage to Moabs. Wow, we're basically dealing double damage to Moabs. That's pretty crazy. Um, plus permanent ability uptime for this. Plus the weaker balloons because of future crystal. And I think that's every buff. If I'm forgetting any others, let me know. I'm pretty sure that's just about everything. But I could definitely be wrong. I mean, we also have this horn ability. 20% attack speed with that too. So, so many buffs, truthfully. So, so many buffs. Um. That would be. Did she, did she just one shot a ZMG? Is that like an ability of hers or something? She like engulf something? Because I feel like ZMGs are getting one shot and I don't know why. Like, I really don't know why. See, like, look at that. They're just getting one shot in. Is that with her ability? The ability, what is the description? Transforms into deadly fire elemental. No, it doesn't say anything with there. She's like one-shotting ZMGs randomly, or they're getting one-shotted somehow every once in a while. Like, look at that. I'm so confused. If that's a glitch, that's a really weird glitch. I don't have crystal motions of destruction in case that's what you're wondering. The magic's so powerful to you. I think that's interesting time to get this. I believe that's actually 300,000 damage with Princess Bubblegum. It might not be, but I think it is. Um, yeah, something weird's happening. And it is allowing them to do this. That's a lot of damage. Come on, we can totally beat this Babylon, right? I think we really should be able to. Okay, I think that was bad timing. Um, but yeah, like, the Babylon's already almost dead. It's on its last damage phase. Have our plasma goggles up again. We're totally doing this. And just for the sake of one-shots, we win. So, you guys want me to see Flame Princess doing the same challenge as I? Because, technically, she did beat this map. She deserves to venture on to the next difficulty map, or... Basically, we're skipping all the way up to the second hardest, technically. Not in my opinion, but technically. Do you want to see who go up against the heart, like the creepy, like dark hearts map? Because we definitely could. Definitely, definitely could. So let me know if you guys do want me to try that, because I think that could be fun. Um. So PB or FP, you're strong. You're very, very strong. Not as strong as I thought you'd be, honestly. Like your stats. Your stats made you seem a lot more powerful than you ended up being. But you know what? I honestly, I don't know. It's a little hard to tell. But definitely really good improvements. Also, let me know if you want me to redo size for that map. Because I'd be happy to do it. Even if you just want it to be like a quick like two minute clip of him against Ram 100 or something like that. Since that's the only thing he couldn't beat. Let me know. I'd be happy to do it for you guys. Um, but in the meantime, please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed subscribing to join the Pope Elephant Squad. It makes my day. It's really nice, and I really do appreciate it. Once again, I know I've said this a lot this video, but 100 subscribers for end of December would be awesome. I'd really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, let me know some video suggestions, specifically the ones I'm talking about, but also just any other video suggestions. Game suggestions. Um, I prefer mobile games, but like, obviously. I do play other games, um, so if you do have a really good game that's either PC or console or something like that that you think I would really enjoy or, or just think would be a really good game for this channel, still let me know. Mobile games are probably preferred, but I mean, I'll appreciate them all. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Have an incredible day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!